Next, I would like to now call upon Mr. Hezekiah Odor, a brother to the late general, to also give a tribute from the family side. Hezekiah Odor. We can give him a warm clap as he's coming, just to encourage him. Karibu sana. His Excellency the President of the Republic of Kenya, all, all protocols of service, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Canon Ezekiel Dur, the firstborn in the family of General Ogola. General Ogola was the fifth born in the family of Mze Joel Okech Oyeo and Mama Damaris Okello. General was a very loving man to the family. And when we received the sad news of General, when we were preparing for the 100 years celebration of our dad, it was very sad indeed. General was a very staunch Christian who loved prayers and read the Bible severally. He did a lot even to his church. He did a lot even to his community. At the moment, General has left a very big gap in our family because he was taking care of our dad, making sure that he gets medication and checkups regularly. He was also making sure that he sent something to the widows who are in his hands. There were over 30 widows. He also made sure that the students who are orphans in the area never missed their education. And he had no love boundaries in regardless of economic background, social or education background of any person. So we thank God for his life. In the book of Matthew 6, 33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all other things shall be added unto you. He added, he was considering that part, and God added him all that he required. At the moment, he has also left a very young lady, my sister-in-law, Eileen. At least some concerns can be made to make sure that her life continues because her status in life had gone to a certain level. And now General has left some gap. Otherwise, I thank each one of you to condole with us. Have safe journey masses at the end of the function. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Next, I would like to call upon Mrs. Peris Onyango, who is a sister to the general, to also come and speak briefly. And as she is coming also to recognize the presence of some leaders we have, we have Honorable Kalonzo Musioka in the house. We also have Honorable Martha Karua in the house. Thank you for joining us. Why don't we put our hands together for Mrs. Peris Onyango as she comes to also speak. Your Excellency, the President of Kenya, the Deputy President, the Church. Before I speak, I want to follow the instructions that I was given. I was told that I called, uh, okay, he had already invited him. My work was to facilitate his coming here today. He is called Mr. Sewe, who sings Cecil Lawyer, Gidala. Can you come up here? (laughs) 
So I want him to sing that song before I talk. His Excellency, Deputy, uh, the Church. Praise the Lord. Allow me to sing this song. The studio, be ready. It is a song that I composed, and so I've, co I've translated it into 24 languages. In Kikuyu, it is Otatwariga, and in Kimasai, Ataimeloni. In K Kinandi, it is Amakinigiane, Ororiotapsayuni. Family, kindly be upstanding. Saudi.
That was my brother's request. Your Excellency, I just want to surprise you that today is our second time of meeting in a museum like this. The first time we met with you, we were invited in Willie Bet and Faith Rono Bet. We went for a koito. And I was talking on behalf of Spiritual Mother for Faith. You talked on behalf of Willie Bet. And I remember I said, we are giving the best, the, the, a good lady to, to Bet. And yet, then you said, Mrs. Onyango, we are giving the best man. I'm so happy that they are happily married. Thank you very much. God is good. I want to talk about my, my brother. Hallelujah. If I shake, don't worry. Number one, I want to bring condolences from my family and I to Irene. Joey, my brother's son. Achieng Nyarawadwa. Achieng is named after me. We were very close with General. So, I just want to talk about General, the qualities the General had. General was a special child in our family. In fact, our mother really loved him more than us. So sometimes we could just prick his head. I mean, because he was loved too much. We are being beaten and him, he was not being beaten. And he followed that. He, he followed those qualities. My brother is a kind man, loyal man very dedicated, very committed to, to everything he does. He, he did things to perfection. My brother was a good Christian, a servant leader of God. He walked the talk. He did his best in Christian life and life in general. So, I want to tell you the three things my brother told me. We used to visit him and he could tell me one, two, three. Number one, he told me, Paris, a soldier can die anytime. So if I die, I need to be buried within 48 hours. I said, what do you mean? And then he said, Paris, I know you you can give them problems. So I'm adding you more hours. Let it be 72 hours. The second thing he told me, I had to write them down so that I don't talk of my own things. The second thing he